Welcome to the Brendan G Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about healthy fats and unhealthy fats. Uh, we're going to start by checking out uh, a 2022 consumer report that uh, was quoting a Harvard associate nutritionist. We're going to get into the list of seed oils. So we end up differentiating between healthy fats and unhealthy fats. We're going to talk about this, what I consider sort of the canary in the coal mine, which are pregnant women, because their needs for fat are much higher, generally speaking, than other people. So we're going to learn quite a bit from that and some of the recommendations that they've been receiving from doctors. And then we're going to get into some studies that are going to show us exactly what does happen when you take in unhealthy fats. Now, we understand that we ought to be taking in healthy fats as a uh, proper regimen for diet, because otherwise you run into all kinds of hormone issues and cognitive decline issues. Uh, it's really a, um, a requirement, really, for uh, anything uh, taking place in the brain and the central nervous system. So we have to make sure that those things are always high. And every cell in the body, uh, its main constituents is fat, that uh, phospholipid bilayer that makes up the uh, cell membrane. That's, those are fats. Okay? And then we'll get into some of the health benefits of having healthy fats. So that's the overview of what we're going to be talking about today. So without any further delay, we're going to get right into this 2022 Consumer Reports. And let's see, let me pull this thing up for a second here. So this is, uh, and this will be in the show notes. As a matter of fact, all the studies that we discussed today, they're all going to be in the show notes. This is off of Harvard EDU's own website. And the title of this is Scientists Debunk Claims of Seed Oil Health Risks. Okay. So, and this PhD, this is Guy Crosby. He's an adjunct associate of nutrition over at Harvard. And this is what he has to say about this. So, while it's true that many foods that use seed oil, such as packaged snacks and french fries, are unhealthy, so he's right out there telling you that these are unhealthy for you, that's good. They also tend to be high in refined carbohydrates, sodium, and sugar. Yeah, it's also true. Sure, if you cut back on these foods, chances are you're going to feel better, Crosby says, but these other components, not the seed oils themselves, are the real culprit behind weight gain and other negative health outcomes. So that is the claim by uh, Dr. Guy Crosby. And I'm just going to tell you that you ought to, whenever you read these white papers, and he's quoting about 30 different studies here, you have to know how these things are being funded. Now, it sounds to me like many of these white papers are going through Harvard University. And if you look at the listed conflicts of interest behind these 30 studies, you're going to find these are NGOs. Uh, some of them could be hedge funds. They are the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They're the NIH. They are pharmaceutical companies, and they are big agri. Okay, so I would say the conflicts of interest here are many. And this is why I wanted to bring this to your attention, because we want to make sure that we are consuming healthy fats, and then people consistently get confused about which are healthy and which are not. And I'm going to maintain, and there's a lot of studies uh, that show that this is the case. I'm going to bring some of those studies to light here. Seed oils absolutely should be avoided. They are inflammatory. They are pro-oxidative. They are always going to be your worst choice. I would say high stress, sugar, and seed oils, and pesticides. Those are probably the worst things to be taking into your body. And if you can avoid those, you're going to have much better health results. Okay. So, word to the wise there. Um, and I, you know, I, being a product of uh, the, you know, the 80s when we shifted, there was a study that took place over in Europe. And this study, essentially, the conclusion was, that fats were bad. And so uh, they had congressional hearings here in the, in the US and everything, all the products in the stores ended up going low fat and ended up going high sugar because when you lose the fat, you lose the taste. So what they made up were with putting sugar in there. Okay? And that obviously is very detrimental. We now know that that is something that is pro-inflammatory, but the 
problem with the original study was that they were taking into account both unhealthy fats and healthy fats. They conflated those. Those were trans fats. Those were also seed oils. So the name of the game is taking out trans fats and seed oils. That's where they got you with the whole margarine. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay. We all probably had that back in the day. It's not good for you. So what are the seed oils that you have to take a look at when you go to the grocery store? Let's avoid these at all possible costs. Canola oil, peanut oil, corn, sunflower, rapeseed oil, which is also canola. It's another word for it. Grapeseed, cottonseed, safflower, soybean, very bad. Flaxseed and sesame seed. Those are the fats that you need to avoid. Those are your seed oils. Okay. So your healthy oils, the things that you ought to be putting into the diet, fish oils, meat, lard, okay, eggs, dairy, coconut, avocado, butter, those things, those are the healthy fats that you ought to be uh, consuming and making a larger portion of your overall diet to stay healthy. So this is another sort of thorn in my side, which is some doctors are recommending to pregnant women to maintain a low fat diet while pregnant. And we know that that is very dangerous because you are carrying a fetus. So you're not only um, consuming for your own fat needs, but the uh, requirements for a fetus while they're in that, the whole central nervous system is developing, their brain is developing, their fat needs are very high. So you want to increase the amount of fat that you're consuming in your diet, not decrease it. So why this, why this um, uh, difference of opinion? Where, where did this all come from? So there was a rat study. And this is, I believe this is where a lot of these doctors are getting this misinformation. There's a rat study that was done a while back. Uh, and it basically said, look, if you consume a lot of fat, of course, these rats were pregnant at the time, you are going to result uh, this is going to result in weight gain, high blood pressure, and elevated inflammatory markers. What they don't tell you is this had the same uh, problem that the study, that European study had in the 70s, which is it was rich in soybean oil. That is a seed oil. That is exactly what uh, Dr. Guy Crosby from Harvard is trying to defend. Yet again, remember all the conflicts of interest <laughs> that all those studies had. So. In science, unfortunately, uh, while we look at science and scientists to give us the truth, the problem is that it is constantly, and I'm telling you, constantly being corrupted by outside influence, money, uh, big corporations, NGOs. Those are the problems that we're having in science. So uh, now that we've gone through that, so we've talked about the dangers of unhealthy oils. These are these omega-6 vegetable oils. And again, not all vegetable oils. You'll notice that, um, you know, I don't include olive oil or avocado oil in the unhealthy oils. Those are actually healthy oils. But those are very low in linoleic acid. That's the, that's the critical component in there. And when we talk about the dangers of these oils, what we're really talking about specifically, these studies are showing us that there are um, fetal development delays uh, in the cases of uh, pregnant women that have incorporated these healthy, uh, excuse me, these dangerous oils or low fats uh, into their diet. Um, when you have uh, these kinds of omega-6 oils in your diet, believe it or not, the other thing that happens is it inhibits DNA synthesis. And this information is coming from Endocrine, which is a peer-reviewed scientific journal. And this goes back to 2002. And again, that'll be in the show notes. And there are two other studies here that I pulled. And again, I, I probably could have pulled 15, 20 studies easily. Um, but these two studies, I think, show a, a pretty good overall uh, what the uh, detrimental effects of high omega-6 uh, seed oils have in your diet, and it negatively infects liver issues. It causes leaky gut, uh, and it um, negatively uh, impacts your cardiovascular health. So if we go to, say, uh, lipid health and disease, back in 2020, there was a study done. Uh, the title of that 
um, article is Association of Long-Term Consumption of Repeatedly Heated Mixed Vegetable Oils in Different Doses and Hepatic Toxicity Through Fat Accumulation. So essentially what it's saying is it's going to break down your gut lining. It's going to travel to your gut. It accumulates within the fat cells. Those end up increasing in number in your, la in, in your uh, liver, compromise your liver, uh, and obviously cause fat accumulation overall. Open Heart, which is a, another peer-reviewed scientific journal uh, back in 2018, showed numerous lines of evidence showing that the omega-6 poly uh, unsaturated fats, specifically linoleic acid, promotes oxidative stress. Those are your seed oils. Uh, they oxidize LDL. Uh, they cause chronic low-grade inflammation and arteriosclerosis. Okay, so that's the. Those are the peer-reviewed studies that clearly show a connection between the list that we gave you here. And I'll tell you, when you go to the grocery store, you're going to find this throughout. It's not just in the bottle of canola oil or in the oil aisle. It's in all of those processed foods. It's in your baked goods and your cookies and all of those things. So you really have to have a, a discerning uh, – you, you have to – have a level of discernment when you take a look at uh, ingredient lists when you're going through the the aisles at the uh, at the stores and I'm going to go through the aisles of the stores shortly and we'll have a video on that too so I, I'll show you exactly what to look for. But on the flip side of this, when we're talking about healthy oils, right? We're talking about fish, meat, eggs, dairy, coconut, avocado, butter. Uh, there is a article from Human Reproduction. So this is way back in 2007. That indicates high dairy contributes to fertility and low in infertile uh, women. So clearly what, the, what this is saying is from a biological standpoint, the body is preparing itself. It has to prepare itself in a healthy way in order to be uh, fertile. So when you're consuming dairy and you're consuming these healthy fats, that is when a woman is most fertile. And if you are battling infertility, this is something that you ought to be considering is how much healthy fats are you consuming? And so the benefits of that, well, when you're consuming healthy fats, obviously we're talking about proper brain development. You're lowering cognitive declines. You're able to support all your hormonal needs. All hormones, their base uh, material is fat. And then you are also increasing your uh, vitamin absorption, specifically A, D, E, and K. So that's the overall for this. I'll talk about this more in uh, some other videos. But if you like this, subscribe. And uh, again, we're going to be coming out with videos every week. So stay tuned.